Hey guys, how's it going? So I thought I'd do another video today. I did one yesterday. Um, well, uploaded one yesterday anyway. And um, so I was going through my knives last night. And um, I realized that I have a knife. Um, that I never did a review on. Um, or never told you what I thought about it. I don't, I don't think I did anyway. Um, it's a knife made by Fox Edge. It is called the Atrax. That is spelt A-T-R-A-X. Um, it is a sheep's foot. Um, aluminum scales. It has a front flipper. It has blade holes. It has a... A, uh, a, a, a regular flipper on the back. Um, it has a fantastic design. Um, and it's only 32 bucks. Um... Yeah, this is it right here. Fox Edge Atrax. Um, so I, I saw this knife on Atlantic Knife a while ago. Um, actually, I, I originally saw it on BattleBox.com, right? They have one that is VG10. It is um, Micarta, Green Micarta. And they were asking 115 bucks for it. Um... There's no way in, in hell I'm going to pay that much for those kind of materials, right? And then my card didn't even look that nice. Especially for, like, there's no way, right? So when I saw this one, at only 32 bucks, this has aluminum scales. And it has HCR 13 MOV blade steel, okay? So that steel isn't the best steel in the world, but, but let, let's be honest here. So a lot of us buy knives with the intent... Or the purpose of, you know, breaking down boxes, you know, cutting tape, uh, so on and so forth. A, a lot of us are not hard using our knives, you know. We're not like uh, whittling sticks or like setting up camp or, you know, anything of that nature. So, as far as blade steel goes, like this, is, this stuff is fine for everyday use, you know. You don't need some 20 CV or like... Or like ZDP 189 or some Magnet Cut. I mean, it's cool to have that stuff. Like, it's fantastic. You know, it really cuts down on sharpening time. You don't have to worry about rolling edges. Blah, 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 blah. But for everyday use, you know, some 8CR13 MOV is, is fine. Okay? Um, this knife comes in at 32 bucks. Uh, for the price, this thing is, is awesome. Like, I, I really like this knife. The fidget factor is through the roof. You have so many different deployment methods. You have the front flipper, the regular flipper. You have two sets of blade holes, which both can be spidey flicked quite efficiently. And I almost failed that one. <laughs> also, with this having um, internal stop pins, and with it being made out of aluminum... You get that awesome, um, that awesome hollow thud sound when you open it. Um, for you that, for you guys that know what I'm talking about, you know how satisfying that is. It sounds so cool. Um, you don't really get that sound with a lot of knives. I have noticed that I only really hear it on internal stop pin knives or like, or for some reason knives that are aluminum. I, I don't know what it is, the, the acoustics um of aluminum but you you get a really cool noise with it um yeah i, I don't know if here i don't know if it's gonna come over on the on the thing but when i flick this you get a cool like hollow thud i don't know what it sounds like over the mic but i don't know if y'all can hear that there's a couple times i don't know if you guys we were able to pick that up, but but the sound is great. Um, for thirty, like for the price, this thing is like it, 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 it's awesome. It's so good. Um, well, let's go over some specs just real quick. Um, I just have a couple just uh, just to go over just the main ones. I'm not gonna go over everything, but so sheep's foot blade. We got a kind of medium tall flat grind. Um, eight. Uh, CR 13 MOV steel. Um, it weighs 3.7 ounces. The overall length is 7 inches. That is a 4 inch handle and a 3 inch blade. 
Um, I think the cutting edge is probably like 2.8 inches roughly. Maybe 2.75, something like that. For everyday um, needs, this like this knife size is perfect. I, I love knives that are on this size. They're easy to keep in your pocket. Uh, they're fun to play with. They don't take up a lot of room in your pocket either. Um, and for my hand size, it's the perfect size for my hand. So I have like a medium, medium large glove, more towards the medium side. Um, ergos on this, the ergos are so, they're, for, from my hand, they are so well done. They really, really, really nailed the ergos on here. One thing that I didn't like at first, but I started to really like, is this lock bar. It is actually, goes, like, over the, the scales here. I don't know if you guys can see this, on both sides. Normally you get one side that's, you know, kind of level, um, so it doesn't, like, get your finger, you know what I mean? So you don't accidentally uh, um, disengage it. Um, but this one has that jimping on top, right? So when you're holding this, that jimping really locks your, your, your finger in place. I was so afraid a couple times of disengaging this. Um, but I, I never disengaged it. I, I cut down, well, I, I whittled some sticks with it just to see if I could disengage it on accident. Um, I wore Kevlar gloves too, just in case, because I really thought it was going to happen. Um, but I cannot get it to disengage, so... Um, take that for what you will. Um, the ergos, like I said, are great. I love this um, little cutout here for your thumb. It uh, really holds your thumb in there very nicely. Um, this little drop here, yeah, it's perfect for the thumb. I really like how this re back flipper is angled. So when you choke up on this, you have a, a nice spot to get some good leverage. And also the backer goes on this too. Like it fits in your hand. I don't know if you guys can see, but you see how like it, it like hugs my hand here. My whole palm is hugged in this. It really hugs the shape of your hand very well, or or my hand anyway. It it, it feels great. And the pocket clip, um, it 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 vanish. I don't even feel it. I literally don't feel this in my hand. Even though it is kind of high and sticky and pokey, um, I don't feel it. It's kind of crazy. I mean, I feel it, but it's not like, it's not affecting my grip at all. You know what I mean? Um, yeah, they, they did a great job on this knife. Um, so, a couple downsides. We have T6s. We have a T8. It would have been fantastic if there were all T8s. T6s on the on the clip. It's not deep carry. It's not reversible. Um, it, it doesn't come in a premium version uh, unless you call VG10 and my card a premium for uh, for what eighty bucks more. Yeah, I, I don't think so. You're, you're crazy, crazy, crazy. There's no way <laughs> it's worth eighty bucks more. Maybe maybe twenty at the most. Um, yeah, 20 at the, yeah, I can't believe they charged $115 for VG10 and Crappy Micarta. They're, they're, they're bonkers. Um, but this knife, like, and it just looks cool, right? Like, these colors, this is like a, a green, gray, metallic with that cool bronze, and you got the bronze, like, the, look at the, the, the pivot, like, it's so nice, uh, I don't know what you call it. Like, it looks like one of those bio biohazard signs, you know? Great little detail work. Um, yeah, this color is just great. I love the color. And also, too, I checked that out. There's, like, a spider right here, which is really cool. I don't know if that's, like, the maker symbol or something, but I love that little spider. It's kind of cool, actually. That's, like, one of my favorite parts. And I really like how they put the fox edge down here on this little... On this little uh, flipper, the little finger holdy thingamajigger. Um, I, I normally don't like um, weird placement of branding, but that actually kind of works. It, it doesn't look bad at all, actually. It, it's pretty nice. 
Um, and like I said here, here is the uh, Blade Steel HCR 13 MOV. You probably cannot see that, but I will show you anyway. It also says FE-028. I'm assuming that's the model number or something like that. Um, yeah, I, I just wanted to show this knife because it's, it's very impressive for, for what you're getting. Um, and, and just a fidget factor alone, um, like you have so many different ways of deployment. Um, I found myself really playing with this one a lot. Like, just that sound is so good. Like, you have like a couple, you know, a couple sounds in the knife world everyone looks for. One is the ting that that like winter blade cofactor ting the 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 mini towser k ting that that loud audible ting you have that thwack noise that you get with uh you mainly get that with bigger bladed knives um and you also have this like hollow thud um it's super super um it sounds great the the audibles are are so good on this knife I'm tempted, like, no, I'm not, I'm not tempted. I was going to say, I'm kind of tempted to buy the Micarta version just to, like, compare it, but I, I just can't spend $115 on, on those materials. It's just not, uh, I just can't do it, unless there was some kind of coupon I could use or something, but I just, I, I, I can't. It's just not a, um, it's too much. It's way too much, so, um... Yeah, I just wanted to show this knife off. Um, you you can so you can pick this up at Atlantic Knife. They have um, several different options. Um, well, several different colorways. They have a really really cool one that has a bronze blade with black G10 and bronze hardware that looks freaking badass. It looks so cool. I wanted to get that one, but it was so low at the time. But now it's back in stock, and that one's still thirty-two bucks. Um, yeah, man, like they have some really cool different uh, colorways on this. Um, yeah, Atlantic Knife has it. I think I saw that um, Knife Works or Knife Joy or something like that. Chicago Color. I don't know. There's a couple other sites. If you Google it, you'll you'll see many sites carry it. Um, yeah, I just want to show this knife off real quick. I just think it's super impressive for the money. Um, really fun to fidget with, too. And, and, and the only other downside is the, uh, the detent. The detent disengagement is kind of late. Like, you kind of got to get down there, but it's not a huge deal by any means. But, uh, just be aware of that. It's not like a... It's not like when you disengage the lock bar and the detent is right there and it, you know, rolls right over right away. This one has to go down probably, I don't know, well, a good three-eighth inch probably before. I don't know, you guys can see that. It's pretty far down. It's not terrible, but. Um, another thing on this knife, too. Um, when So, when I got this. Oh, another thing, too. Sorry. Another thing, too. The, the, the detent. Is tuned very well. It's a little bit on the step. Mine's a little bit on the stiffer side. I, I like that. I'd rather have it stiffer than lighter. So you kind of got to put some oomph into it. But uh, once you um, once you get it going, though, you're not failing this knife. You're not gonna fail it. Um, at least this one anyway. The def the detent is so nicely tuned that you're not gonna fail that. So yeah. I thought I would uh, show that knife. Um, another thing, so... I, I don't know if any people really care about this, but I thought I would do, like, a, an EDC bag dump once in a while, maybe every couple weeks, or... I usually change up my bag once every... Yeah, two weeks or so, three weeks or something. I'll, I'll just show you guys what I have in there this, this week or this couple weeks. So, I kept these... Badges on here. These are all from Prometheus Design Works. If you see my other videos, I highly, highly, highly recommend these. They make arguably the best uh, Velcro uh, morale patches in the business. They are built to a a higher level than any other brand that I have bought. So 
you can find these on Knife Center. They have a lot of different uh, options, styles, letters, numbers, themes, so on and so forth. They have, they have. A, I don't know if you guys have ever heard of a thylacine. Um, they have one of those stickers. I really want to get that. Those are really cool creatures. Um, yeah, just side note, if you have never looked up what a thylacine is, check it out. They're crazy. Their jaw, like, yeah, j just look them up. You'll see what I'm saying. So, anyway, get back on topic here. So, what I have in here, I have in a fountain pen. Cool little fountain pen. It's trying to develop a thing for pens for some reason, not sure why. Um, I have a Tucson pen. This is also a screw off. This is carbon fiber, brass, and uh, aluminum. Um, this pen I actually got. Uh, <laughs> I got this pen on a store closing thing for only a dollar. <laughs> yeah, a dollar. So, yeah, I got here. I got this one with it too for only a dollar. Uh, they're kind of cool actually. They actually have like some crazy. This one here is freaking two and a half ounces. This thing has some weight. And this one is like an ounce. So I I have yet to really try them. I Well, I, I shouldn't say that. I tried this one. This one works really well. I haven't tried the other one. Um, what else do I have in here? So oh, I have in the, the CMB uh, Predator. I think that's what it's called, right? The Predator? shoot yeah i think it's called the predator i have yet to make a video on this um review on this will be coming soon i know it's been out for a while everyone has done a review on it but i think i'll just put my two cents in because there's some cool stuff on here that i haven't heard other people say so um also i have the artisan uh arion or however you want to pronounce it it's spelled a-r-i-o-n um, this knife is, like, uh, it's, it's, okay, it's a little bit too big for me, but the fidget factor on this thing is great, like, I love fidgeting with this. I think I want to get the small one, because that's more my, my, uh, my jam. Like, so I like 7-inch knives, right? Look at the difference on these knives, like, that's a 7-inch even knife, like, 7 inches overall. This thing is pushing like eight and a half, right? Like, it's too big. It's, it's too big. Even the CMB Predator is too big for me. Um, inside the pouch, I have my uh, my uh, uh, Amar, Amari. It's A M A R E. This is the Field Bro. Um, this is in VG, uh, yeah, VG ten. Um, really cool colorway on here. The black and bronze looks fantastic. I hope these are showing up on the camera, right? Yeah, no, yeah, they should be. I have a lighter in here. I have some Loctite in here. Oh, you know, this should be in there too, my bad. My, uh, my, uh, tool should be in there. I have some knife wipes in here. I have a, uh, I stole one of my girlfriend's makeup brushes. This has really coarse bristles for uh, getting into crevices to clean out, whatever I might need to clean out. I bent it just to get at different kind of angles. I have another knife wipe in here. And I have a couple of Q-tips because you never know. Q-tips, uh, you might need to clean your ears, you know, who knows. Who knows what you need these for, but I have used those for Tinder I have used those for so I've used those for like a, I broke my finger one time and I used that for a splint. Q tips like put those in your bag. You'll be surprised how many times you pull them out for something. You really will. I have used them for so many different things. So that's kind of what I have in my bag. Um, not not a lot. Um, I do have a flashlight, but I keep it on my keychain. It's just a little, uh, uh, crap, what is that, an Olight IR3 or something like that. that. That little one, that's like this, you know, it's like a two-incher, you know, like a little keychain one. I, I just, I, I don't need anything crazy. Um, I did have this big behemoth in there. 
This is the Tucson. This is bronze and titanium. This thing weighs eight freaking ounces. Um, has three different light modes, but I have found that uh, this is actually absolutely ridiculous to put in the bag. I don't know why I did that. That thing is way too damn heavy, but it's freaking. When you pull that out to give to someone as for a flashlight, like their reaction is hilarious. They're like, "What? This is a flashlight? That thing is badass." It's only a hundred bucks too. Like that's a super cool light for a hundred bucks. You get some cool reactions when you give that to somebody to use. Um. So yep. So put these back in. By the way, this knife. I feel like this knife was made in direct. Um. Um. Well, how do I want to work direct? Uh, competitive as the um the bug out it's pretty similar deal here but this thing the act like the opening action is great but the closing action is fuck a uh, freaking sorry i shouldn't swear i guess freaking garbage it runs on nylon washers like it was good when i first got it but it has progressively getting worse and worse and worse <laughs> i don't know why um, I, 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 I gotta look into different washers for this, but over, but other than that, this knife is so good. I love the ergos and everything about this knife. It is, this is a cool ass knife. So let me just put all this stuff back in here. Actually, you know, who cares? You don't want to watch me put stuff back in the bag. What am I doing? It's stupid. Yeah. Whatever. You guys don't want to see that. Um, so yeah, um, we're, we're, we're getting close to 100 subscribers, guys. We're getting so close. Um, we're, I think we're at 78. Um, if you guys saw my 50 subscriber giveaway, you saw how cool that was. This one is going to be even cooler. I, th I have like five prize packs I have right now. Each one comes with a knife. Um, a cool knife too, like not just like cheap little Kershaws, but the grand prize is gonna. I, I think if I can, if I if I can't find another one, it's gonna be this Tucson. This is the oh crap TS two one three. I think that's gonna be the grand prize, or this one, the Kaiser Tigon. Um. I'm not sure yet. We'll, we'll see which one I, I want to do. How I might do both. Who knows? Um, I have so many knives, you know, and I, I, I really don't use them. Um, it would be nice to go to people that I will actually, like, I, I appreciate them. I, I really do. I'm very fortunate to have the knives that I do. Um, however, I don't use them, and it would be nice to go to people that would actually appreciate them more and use them. Because they literally just sit on a shelf. Um, I have prob I have over 100 knives. And I literally use maybe 6 of them. On a uh, consistent basis. All the others just, uh, well, some of them. Here, I'll show you. Sit up on this shelf here. They sit up there. That EDC bag back there is full to the brim. There's 22 knives in there. I have another box of knives, and I have another bag of knives, and so on and so forth. So I would, it would be nice just to, to pass them on, let someone else get some use out of them. Um, so yeah, the prize packs all come with a knife. I'm trying to hit up um, some YouTubers for um, um, some giveaway stuff, like stickers and whatnot. The few that I have, I'm not going to mention names, but they said no to me for some reason. I don't know. I just asked for a couple stickers, but whatever. It's all good. I'm um, not going to mention names or anything, but uh, yeah. So I'm just going to keep asking, see what I can get. I Like, I'm not asking. Like, I just want some stickers, you know, or some like, I don't know. I shouldn't even be asking, I guess. Like, I, I, yeah, I, I don't know. I don't know. Like, all this stuff is all... Per like, none of this is, like... I haven't received any of this from companies. This is all bought with my own money. Um, so, I, I, I kind of feel like my giveaway should be stuff that I've bought to give away and not stuff that I've got free. I, I don't know. I'm weird like that, I guess. I don't know. 
I don't know if other people see it that way too. I get, maybe I'm the minority in that, but anyway, um, yeah. So 22 more subscribers, guys. I'll do a giveaway video right away when I hit 100 subs. We'll like run for two weeks again, and then we'll draw five winners. Um, once the winners are drawn, you have uh, uh, 48 hours to get a hold of me, and uh, I'll get them shipped out in between seven and 14 business days. Maybe sooner, um, no longer than two weeks, I'll get them shipped out. So, uh, we'll go over all that in another video closer to 100 subs. So, yeah, look out for the good, look out for the uh, the review on this guy. Um, gonna ever do a review on this guy, Tucson TS1. Uh, oh crap, what is this? Shoot, TS138, I think. I think that's what that is. TS138. Um, yeah, crap. I don't really have anything that... Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's a TS2, TS138. I could be wrong, but... Um, but, yeah. Um, thanks for watching, guys. I really appreciate all the comments and support. Um, yeah, there's some really cool guys out there, man. Like, all you guys that comment and I talk to... Like, I'm so fortunate to uh, to talk to you guys and, and talk, like, I love talking about knives, so if you want to hit me up and, you know, shoot the shit with knives or, or like, outdoor stuff or whatever it may be, I'm always open to talk. Um, yeah, yeah, thanks again for everyone that comments and likes the videos and all the subscribers, too. I really appreciate it. Um, with that being said, we're going to close this one out, and uh, we'll catch you on the next one. Thank you.